Hello everyone, this is Chris Chassi. I had someone ask me a question about searches within Jamf Pro, and this is probably one of the most undervalued, underestimated things within Jamf Pro that will save you a lot of time. If you understand how to search within Jamf Pro, it makes your life a lot easier. So let me explain the issue that a lot of people run into when they first start with the Jamf Pro server. All right, I have the search box. I'm searching for computers. Let's just click search. This will show me a list of all my computers, but all it's going to show me is the computer name. And let's try to filter this result. Okay, well, I want to see like the computer assigned to me. My name is Chris, so let me go and search Chris. I get no results. So this seems, at face value, very unhelpful. But this filter is just filtering the results of what I see here, and there are other ways to search. So first off, let's go back to the search box. And instead of just clicking search here, let's type something in here. So here is gonna be an exact match. So whatever I search for, we'll have to exactly match whatever my results are. So let me explain how to do this properly um, and how to do it improperly. So if I copy this and I paste this into here, it'll show me one result. But if I was to say, um, let's only search for this part I will get zero results. Uh, and the reason is, is because it's looking for an exact match. However, if I put a wild card at the beginning of it and then type this last part, it will work. Right? I'm able to pull it up. But that wild card, where it is, matters. For instance, if I do the same thing and I do MS, which is the initial part of this, it's not going to work. And that's because the it's looking for a wild card at the beginning. So it's saying, hey, it's got to end with MS. So instead, what I want to do is I want to put the wild card after it. And now it'll show me three different computers that start with MS. Now, if you just want the wild card to be in the middle, like let's look at BEM, I got to put the wild card on both sides. All right, you might be thinking, okay, that's great, but like I need something a little more robust than just being able to search for the computer name. Luckily, you can. So let's say I want to search for the username. Um, first of all, that doesn't even appear on my list. I'm just seeing the computer name, but that is stored within Jamf. So I can type Chris. I'm just going to put a wildcard because I don't remember necessarily what my specific username was, but I know it has Chris somewhere. And lo and behold, this shows up, even though there's not Chris anywhere within this name. Let me click on it, and we can see here why. It's because it's looking for this username field. Uh, now, same thing. I can grab this serial number, and let's put this in here. It'll also come up with this result, even though serial number is not on this list. So this search box, and I don't have for you, I don't know if this is documented anywhere, a complete list of everything it's searching for when you do this search box. I think IP address might be one of them. Let's check quick. If I uh, pull in, I'll pull out a different computer and I'll just look for the IP address. It's gonna be under general. Um, we'll pull the reported IP address, see if that works. It does. So it's, it's searching IP address as well. It's searching a bunch of different stuff, but username, for me is usually and serial number are the two that are the most useful. Okay, so that is um, doing the searches, just using the wildcards and stuff. Um, if you wanna make, if you get sick of typing the wildcards, you can actually change this so it's always using a wildcard. So if I go to um, account preferences here, up at the top, my username account preferences, um, I can set my search preferences so that it's either an exact match, which is what I have now, starts with, which basically is the um, when I typed MD or MS and then an asterisk, or um, contains, which is an asterisk on both sides of what I did. I like to keep it to be exact match. I'll just do a contains now so you can see what it looks like. I like to keep it an exact match because it just gives me more flexibility with my searches. 
But now if I do MS, it will pull this up. Let's do BEM or MLK. Um, it'll pull those computers up. So it's a little bit more about how this search box works. I will also note, I'm not gonna go into this, but you can search by applications or even local user accounts. Applications I've used a lot just to see like the different versions of applications. And I will show this because it's kind of cool. So I would do uh, Google Chrome. And I need to do that asterisk and then search. It'll show me all the different um, instances of Google Chrome that I have, uh, including all the different versions of Google Chrome that I have. So I can get kind of a full report of all my computers. Okay. So that's using this search box, but let's talk a bit more about how to make this filter more useful. Because right now, when I click search and I try to type in Chris here, I don't get anything in this filter. Um, because this is just filtering the results that I see in front of me, but I can change these results and you should because your computer name is probably not the thing that's gonna give you the most information about your computers. So in order to set this, we wanna go to settings, inventory, display and then here I can set this to be whatever I want now I'll show you what I pretty much set for every server um, last check-in last enrollment uh, last inventory update and then I like to go and do serial number go to operating system operating system version gives me the most information in the shortest amount of space and then user and location I like to typically do and this is dependent on the server but I'll do username and then building and department if they're using it um, and that usually gives me pretty much what I need I might grab some more extension attributes as well if I had some useful ones in the server but pretty much across the board this is what I'm grabbing in every server all right, so now I see more information. And if you look here, if I type in Chris, this is a wild card. So you don't need the uh, asterisks in there. If you do throw them in there, it will it'll actually literally look for an asterisk. So a <laughs> little, little confusing. The filter box is always a wild card. It's a contains. Whereas if you go to the main search box, it's uh, doing an exact match. But here you can see I have my username and all my information about this computer. So hopefully you learned a little bit about this. Oh, there is one more thing I wanna share, so sorry. Uh, I actually did a video on this last time and it's really good to like be able to pull stuff from like a CSV. I'll show you why. Um, so you can actually search twice for a computer. Let's say um, I want to search for a couple serial numbers. Uh, since I'm pulling these in, this will be pretty easy. So I'm just going to paste these into here. I'm going to put a comma between them. Um, so if you can get a list of comma separated values, which is why I use a CSV, and you throw it into the search box, I can pull up all, I'm doing three different searches by just delineating it with a comment. Um, I'll link to the other video so you can uh, show you how to use this to do a lot of mass actions inside of here because um, I can do actions here to put things into different groups and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of power behind what you can do just with this simple search box within Jam Pro. And if you don't understand it, it's a little confusing and uh, probably makes it a little bit harder to do a basic search for a computer. Uh, but super powerful thing, saves me a lot of time. So hope you found this helpful.